What's going on, folks? Saul Sander here, and today, happy two year anniversary of Splatoon 3, aka 9 out of 10 game. So, I'm gonna try not to get the video too long because I just want to say happy 9 year anniversary of Splatoon 3. So, yeah, I just want to talk about it. Before the video starts, I did watch Tentacle stream. I know they talk about the matchmaking system, and Tentacle says it was Splatoon 2's matchmaking that made the uh, matchmaking a pre pretty bad. Yeah, I know, I know. This is what I hate about Splatoon 3 is the matchmaking because I am tired of fighting Aerospace, um, Squiffers, Chargers, um, Splatanas, um, Stringers. Uh, especially brushes and so on. It's really fucking annoying and it's really bullshit. Yeah, you know what's bullshit? Splatoon 3 matchmaking. That's bullshit. Yeah, that's just like Santa Massacre video. You know what's bullshit? Yeah, so anyway, folks, here's the clip from Tentacle. You know what's bullshit? Oh, oh, and you know what the worst part is about that? This whole thing that I've been ranting about? Splatoon 2 uses the exact same matchmaking system, and yet it somehow feels better than this game! How is that even possible?! It's bullshit. Thanks, bullshit man. How did they not change the matchmaking system between this game and the last game, and yet it somehow feels worse?! Okay, okay, look, I got to say, the Splatoon 3 matchmaking, it's, it's okay, despite the flaws of matchmaking bullshit. Like, look, if Splatoon 3 update changes the matchmaking and make it better than Splatoon 2 matchmaking, um, it would be nice, but otherwise, I hate to say it, we have to wait till Splatoon 4 to adjust the matchmaking, and that would be good. Hopefully, Nintendo will listen. Like, look, I like Nintendo. Nintendo has flaws. Nintendo had controversies. Like, come on, I just don't want to be negative against Splatoon 3. Splatoon 3 is my favorite Splatoon game. I just don't like is Salmon Run. Since Splatoon 2, I hate Salmon Run. Because it fucking sucks. In my personal opinion, I can't stand Salmon Run. Because it's AIDS and it's bullshit. Die for yelling, folks. But personally, I, I am personally more like a PvP Splatoon player. I rather play PvP only Splatoon for, for a PvP game. Like, if you can't stand Splatoon 3 matchmaking, go play Exafine. Splatoon 3 should not have skill based matchmaking. And that's why I hate skill based matchmaking personally. In my opinion, Splatoon 3 should not have skill-based matchmaking. If you don't agree with me, go watch Blame True, okay? He is a COD fodder, and I am trying to be a Splatoon fodder. GET IT?! Excuse me for yelling. No! This is not a beta, okay? The game is done! No! No, no, you fucking stupid! What the fuck?! Why are you stupid? What the fuck are you doing, you prick? You don't know how to play Salon! You suck! Why are you that dumb on freelance? You prick! You fucking bitch! Uh, people are gonna tell me... It's the mask making fault! Like seriously, it's still shit on freelance on Salmon Run since Splatoon 2! And that's why I don't watch fucking touch it mode, man! Make sure you read a community post about Final Transmission because this is gonna be my last time ranting about Splatoon 3 on the 2 year anniversary of Splatoon 3, folk. Because that's why I'm gonna be on vacation from Splatoon and social media and so on, man. Anyway, folks. So anyway, folks, yeah, I just want to share my personal opinions about Salmon Run. Uh, people are gonna call me a hater where they want because I just don't like this mode. Just do not make me change opinions. It's my opinions. I don't give a fuck about somebody's fucking opinions because look, 
when I get back to Salmon Run in 2025, guess what? It's going to be one last Salmon Run to get the Octoling armor, then get the fuck out of Salmon Run, cuz. I gotta say, fuck Salmon Run. It's shit. And I don't like this game mode on Splatoon 3. Like, seriously. I'm sorry for yelling and being aggressive and negative, folks. I just hate Salmon Run in a burning passion, and I've been predicting that Salmon Run must be removed from Splatoon for Splatoon 4. I don't care if Salmon Run returns to Splatoon 4. I'm not gonna really play Salmon Run until if I want to do Big Run. I don't know. I will not trust Freelance on Splatoon 4 Salmon Run. I just prefer PvP Soft Sandra for Splatoon. And I wish Splatoon 1 or Wii U has the emulator, folks. Anyways, fuck Salmon Run! So, folks, um, look, I got to say, um, look, I came back to Splatoon for side order, um, finishing the catalog for Press Season 2024. 5 star T Tech, and also until I decide to quit this game, is since my mental breakdown on End of World Splatfest. I came back for Summer Nights, um, Carbs, Carbs Fest, Grand Mid Run, and the Grand Festival. And then now I'm gonna take a vacation, unfortunately. I'm done with Splatoon 3 Splatfest until Splatoon 4 Splatfest came out. And also, I am done with Turf War on Splatoon 3, except for non-solo Turf War. I prefer being a ranked, ranked person because, uh, to be honest with you folks, I am not a casual player. The reason I don't want to be casual because Dude, it's just kiddie shit in my opinion. I just want to be a very bad. I just want to be the ultimate aggressive Splatoon player. Like, my mains is mostly shooters and heavy ass Flatling Novo. Like, remember Splatoon 1? I play some shooters and I play Zinc Mini Splatling because it's had Disruptor and freaking um, Bubbler which is the OG Bobbler, and I love the triple ink strikes. And on Splatoon 3, these specials are nostalgic. I love the Trizooka, I love triple ink strikes, I love Tacticooler, and I love Crab Tank. You can't change my damn opinion. I'm tired of haters over Trizooka shit or Crab Tank shit. I know I rage at Zooka and Crab Tank before, like hell, even though I rage at matchmaking on Splatoon 3 also. Like, I got to say, stop matching me with shit, Nintendo. This is my rage moment from March 2023 that I broke a budget controller from rage. So anyway, folks, overall, despite matchmaking shit, despite bullshit on Splatoon 3, Splatoon 3 is still my favorite game because 9 out of 10 for me, I, look, Tentacle is 8.5 out of 10. He still loved this game, but that's fair if you hate the matchmaking. But for me, dude, the matchmaking is just imperfect. It's just, it's still bad because I had to deal with sweaty, punk ass bitches and pussies on Splatoon 3 matchmaking, just like Splatoon 2. Like, in the future, I will say my final goodbye to Splatoon 3 in 2026 if I decide to. Then I had to wait till Splatoon 4 and I had to take another Splatoon hiatus. Look, Splatoon 3 is not at. Splatoon 3 never sucked. It, this game had flaws. Don't get me wrong. So I got to say when I return to Splatoon 3 in 2025, I will reach level 100. I love to reach S plus in the second time. I love to 5 star heavy ass light lane no vote. I love to get gold triple ink strike badge or crab tank badge or whatever. I just want to play a ultimate epic aggression of a crazy funny squid game. Splatoon or Splatoon 3. A epic chaotic destructive squid game. 
Splatoon 3 because I love Splatoon. I love Splatoon 3. You love Splatoon 3. I hope new Splatooners and new Splatoon players that will be positive in the generation of Splatoon because I just don't get the generation of Splatoon players like hating on Splatoon 3 or Thrash Splatoon 3 and so on or fussing about the matchmaking shit that make you want to punch your monitor or break your controller. Dude, I get this rage moments on matchmaking too. Don't get me wrong. You think they'll think I'm, I'm acting like a 13 year old bitch. Anyways, I'm sorry for a lot of swearing because I could cuss whatever the fuck I want, YouTube. I want YouTube back from 2006. And I'm sorry for yelling. I hope my parents doesn't get me in trouble. Anyway, folks, this is Saul Sandra. I hope you folks enjoy your regular nights and enjoy Grand Festival before I go on vacation from social media, folks. Anyway, folks, have a nice day.